Hi everyone, my name is Gotti Krasner. I am the Invasive Species Coordinator for Saginaw Bay Sisma, and I'm going to show you how to identify and deal with gypsy moth or Lymantria dispar on your property. So, first thing you want to look for uh, is these putty-like masses on your trees. This is a gypsy moth egg mass, um, and you can generally tell uh, whether it's old or new just by giving it kind of a press. If it is firm uh, to the touch, that is generally a sign that it is a new egg mass um, that will hatch about April or May. Uh, this one is a little bit softer, not as much to the touch, uh, so I believe this is an older one. Uh, most likely last hatched last year, so this doesn't really have an indication on how bad the infestation is going to be this year. Uh, and you can see... Can you see you can see some of these little holes all on the egg sac uh, that can have a number of different sources, uh, but it is also a good sign that there's been some predation on the egg mass itself. Uh, so we have some native parasitic or parasitoidic wasps that will lay their eggs in the egg masses um, and they will basically eat the eggs from the inside out, hatch, and that's where the holes come from. Uh, so that is, if you have that infestation, you generally don't want to treat it until about December or November uh, to give those wasps time to fulfill their life cycle and kill the egg masses by themselves. Um, so if you have a, an egg mass like this on your property, um, the how you want to treat it, some people are going to, there are a lot of different ways people have tried to treat it that are not healthy for the tree or for yourself really. We've seen some people try to deal with it with propane torches, uh, gasoline, things like that. And we very much do not recommend that. It's bad for the tree. It can be very bad for the environment. Just, yeah. Uh, there is a very easy, low cost way to deal with eggs, egg masses like this. So you just take a, a container of warm, soapy water um, and you can do this in a plastic bag, you can do this in a yogurt can like we have, anything works. You're going to take uh, something to scrape it off, and you just scrape them into the warm soapy water. It looks like there actually are some eggs in here. Uh, you see those little, those little like juicy looking uh, black dots? Those are eggs. Um, Try and get as much as you possibly can. Um, so one thing I, I probably should have mentioned is that each egg mass like this can uh, hatch up to a thousand individual caterpillars. Um, and generally the bigger the size of the egg mass, the more caterpillars are going to come out from it. Um, and that is also a pretty good indication of how bad it's going to be. So you're going to leave the egg mass. Uh, that's kind of gross. We don't really want to film that. Uh, you're going to leave the egg mass in warm soapy water like this. For about 48 hours really kill them off and that's going to be true of any egg mass that you deal with uh warm soapy water is really the best way to go um and uh if you want to um if you want to make uh, an estimated guess as to how bad the infestation is going to be on your property any given year um there you can do an egg mass monitoring sample uh, where you basically take a random spot on your property, uh, go around in an about 18 and a half uh, foot radius and count every single egg mass that you see in that area. Um, take that number, multiply that by 40, and that will give you an estimate of how many egg masses you have uh, per acre on your property. Um, and generally anything more than 250 per acre uh, is a sign that's going to be a pretty bad infestation. Um, and you can also go just based on the general size of the egg mass. Uh, if you have a larger egg mass about the size of a quarter, uh, those will produce more caterpillars and thus, you know, a worse infestation. Uh, so that is about it for me. Uh, we will produce another, uh, a another video sometime soon, teach you how to for a lap band or trees to deal with caterpillars. So thank you all very much and have a wonderful day.